Stopped for morning tea at Leicester's Cave. Nice warm day. Lewis Harold Bell Leicester. Sheltered in this cave for approximately 25 days during January 1931. He was stranded without food after his camels bolted at a point 15 kilometers east of here. Although weak from starvation, he set out about 25th of January to walk the 440 k's to Mount Olga, hoping to meet up with his relief party. Carrying 1.7 litres of water and assisted by a friendly Aboriginal family, he reached Irving Creek in the Pot Oyu Hills, a distance of 55 kilometres where he died about the 28th of January 1931. Here's the cave. It's like someone's had a fire here. It's cool in here. Bit of history. And this is the view from the cave. It's quite dry. We're leaving uh, Northern Territory and just heading into Western Australia. Just getting the drone out to um, take a shot of the boys coming into Western Australia from above. Beautiful little can on the sign. I think that might have been Vin. Country. Doing a bit of roadside refueling. A very large load on the road. I don't know what it is. But it's not that big. Oh, I thought it was bigger than that. We're at the Giles Meteorological yeah, Office. Right. Yeah, good Where they do the weather. And this is the Len Bedell Gun Barrel Construction Company Grader, which made thousands of kilometres of road in the middle of the bush. Lunch next to the uh, grader. And this is part of the blue steel rocket from the rocket testing out in the desert. This is the abandoned section of the gun barrel highway. It's very narrow. Building the fire pit. Should be enough there, I think. One fire pit, one pile of firewood, roast going, fire's good, coals are good, chef's good. Life's good. Life's good. Life's good. <laughs> <laughs> cooking up a barbecue breakfast Good, good, just in my usual um, morning position. <laughs> So we've got, what have we got on there? I've just got some sausages, a bit of bacon, tomato, and the eggs are just going on with a bit of baked beans. Two friends grabbing their hearty breakfast from the bush here. These are nasty, nasty prickles that you get in your shoes, and they kill you. Well, not literally, but they are very nasty. Getting prickles down. Getting prickles down. So this is the direction. It is road closed, unsafe from this point. Gun Barrel Highway, that away. Beautiful morning. 
And there's the moon. Just stopped to fill the uh, truck up with water, the radiator. Hey, babe. G'day. So what are you doing? Um, well, we've still got this issue with the head gasket, so we just stop every 50 kilometres, pour in about a litre of water, and we're good to go again across Australia. We have a vehicle. I'm not quite sure what it is. We'll just stop for a cup of tea. A beautiful, neat little fire pit. And some pretty cool art on this shelter. I don't know who's done that exactly, but um, looks pretty cool. A little dunny in the middle of nowhere, basically. A welcome sight. There's another wreck. What's it got there? Yeah. Another wreck. What is that, about eight? Well, the Gibson Desert. Bit of colour. This is what happens when a truck goes past. <laughs> you can't see much. This is what happens when a bus goes by. Huh. That wasn't very astounding. Right, here comes a big one. Well, well no, it wasn't that big. It had toilets on the back. Yeah. Well, that's attractive. Another car. This one's a bit creative. End of the day, we're gonna find a camping spot. Night camp. Because when I was coming up behind him, I thought if he turns right. Bush TV tonight. Be strong on the cooker. Long day in the saddle. Yeah, I'm sure everyone's had a, had a similar experience. More bush TV. Sounds like a list of diesel. Removal of the potatoes from the campfire into the reciprocal spot. It's all to do with the silver, apparently. Looking good. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. That's definitely a good job done. A beautiful pile of spuds. See, that's so cool. Well, it's... What time is it, Mings? Four in the morning, and we're up. I'm making sandwiches. Mings is getting the breakfast stuff ready. The fire's lit. It's very quiet here. It's beautiful. Sleepy swag. Sounds like an alarm. Right near the fire. And that's right near the chairs. And this is the camp. When? Oh, five, oh about a year ago? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It was good breaky, breaky. Well, we're breaking camp. Sun's just rising. Scotty's uh, lubing up the bike chains. Boys are ready. Time to go. Now we're travelling through the Great Victoria Desert on a super highway, and there are lots of car wrecks along the way in various uh, forms of decay. Caravan. Here comes a big one. Adam Range, that's my main name. And here's a wreck that's become part of the environment. How many are on that one? Twelve. I had 14 going there a minute ago. Vin the Builder. <laughs> Poetry in motion. <laughs> Lovely. Oh my god, another one. Go up claiming that, that's my personal best. Wow. Stopped for morning tea and found this. Near the old style bottles from this 1970s. Getting rid of our um, fruit. Quarantine. Just pulled into Laverton to fuel up. That's all the water. Road trains crossing. Active mining area. No unauthorized entry. It's a hall road. What Magnus just told me. We're just going to go over it. Going this way. This is the old Laverton uh, railway line from the gold rush days. Well, we're heading off the road 
for our lunch stop and I think there might be some chance of an obstacle course. Rabbits have been here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Magnus just trod on the rabbits. Magnus is wrecking an obstacle course. He's putting down the markers. Here's some of the native flowers. Fair view from up here. We're in Western Australia. And we're in the gold fields. There's gold in them near hills. I think I'll call this the purple Christmas tree plant. Quite stunning. It looks like they've got glitter on them. All set. He's concentrating. Demonstrating. Two, three, yeah. four, five. By the way, there's like a cliff in behind the Don't trees. <laughs> <laughs> so first up we've got Dwight. Here he goes. Oh, I don't know where he's going. Whoop, nearly. Over the log. No, not over the log. video. There's a little cave up here. Looks like it's Dingo Cave. That's a bit spooky. Some quite big bones in there. Pretty flowers though. Not a bad view. After the first round of games we stopped at the servo at Menzies to fuel up and it had a very interesting wall. We just got to the uh, <laughs> stop sign and guess what? There's a train. And it could go on for quite a while. Because it's quite long. Uh, sometimes they have, how long would you say they are? Five uh, kilometers? Yeah, five kilometers. Of carriages. So we'll just wait here for a little bit longer. Oh yeah, you can see the end. It's a little one. See the roller line that going up and down. Yeah. Sleeping in there, It's incredible. There we go. Who'd have thought, in the middle of nowhere, there would actually be a train? Off we go. This is a Kukani Hotel, we're just going to go in and have a beer. So we just stopped by the side of the road. It's very cold. And the boys have uh, built a little fire. And it's amazing how much heat's coming out of there. Beautiful little fire at morning tea. It's cold. What you got to do is when the flag drops, you've got two seconds to get your front wheel across the front line. And then the person who is the last one with the front wheel over that line at the end wins. A couple of lanes there with advantages. Like the two outside ones, of course. Because you haven't got any handlebars to smash on, do Time for the races. Starting to get some of the wildflowers here in Western Australia. It's a bit early, but there are a few. 
lots of signs. Well, this is the famous rabbit proof fence we're just about to go through. Okay, let's go. And where does it go from, Lingus? It goes from south to north. Of the whole country? Of the whole state. Okay, that was it. Weave silo. Brain silo. The brain silo. It's enormous. Oh, it's one of the little ones. Oh, apparently it's a little one. Now we're in farm country. Looking food in a hotel. We're going in for a drink. That's how you ask for beer in different languages. Oh wow. You don't have a beer, please. The final briefing. We're going to go from here to here. Just leaving the caravan park at Mukabudin, which is really lovely. And heading to Fremantle. There are self-service servos in country towns and you just pay with your credit card. Now we're in the uh, farming, what's this? Canola. Canola, rapeseed. Rapeseed in England, canola in Australia. Made it. Everybody that's here made it. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Some did. <laughs> so now they've officially made it. Well, still one that hasn't got a boot to it yet. Okay, you made it. Yeah, everyone jump off over the handlebars. <laughs> With a forward flip. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs>